user. Private guinea pig here. Switch some settings here for a second. And, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Trying everything to figure out a good, uh... Microphone situation here. And I think I figured it out. Um... Use my phone. I could do it as a uh, webcam also. I don't want to do that at the moment. But I want to test that out. Alright. Alright. Okay, there it goes. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. Been playing Minecraft on my Xbox 360 as of late. I promise I'll be doing more different content in the future, but for now I'm doing Minecraft stuff. Because I can. We'll go with the regular texture pack this time. So how is everyone? Stressed out like crazy? Yeah. It's just how it is, isn't it? So anyway, um... As far as I know, this is the, uh... Absolute final update for the Xbox 360 version of Minecraft, which... Came out in 2018, I believe. I remember, you know, it was a little bit of a big deal. Randomly booting up my 360, thinking, oh well, everything I got is already updated. I'm on peaceful mode right now, because fuck it. I'm clearing out this area right here so that I can build myself a house. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with mostly stone bricks, which is why I'm making a lot of stone blocks here. I just like the aesthetic of stone bricks and also, you know, it doesn't catch on fire. Stone blocks. Alright, and this is where it, everything you see here is mostly temporary storage. And this is all, uh, all my materials, all my ores and what have you. Down here is my little hidey house. It's just miscellaneous stuff. It'll be a whole lot more organized once I get my actual house made and set up and all that. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Anyway, I also wanted to get bricks. Building anything with bricks in anything but creative mode is a bit of a pain in the ass. But it's kind of worth it. Do, do. So I guess let's find myself a riverbank somewhere. And that's just here so that I can easily spot where my base of operations is. Dolphins. Got my map completed. And I can tell where I am. I just look at the map there. And my base of operations is somewhere in this area, this chunk of this little islandy, you know, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh... There's been a lot of talk, it seems, lately on the internet, on YouTube specifically, about, like, you know, 
the old versions of Minecraft being better, or a whole lot of people going back to version 1.7.3, and a lot of people are getting frustrated. Personally, I don't... One of the cool things about Minecraft is there are so many different versions of it. You, you can pick whatever one. You don't have to just play the newest one. If you find it overwhelming or too complicated, just pick a different version, I guess. And you know, if you want a more social aspect to the whole thing, you know, get your friends and agree on which version you want, which mod you want to throw in there. But this right here, this is Minecraft to me. I've tried mods, I've tried all kinds of different things. It's just something about playing this on the old Xbox 360 with this controller. The only difference is um, my circumstance at the moment, I don't have my full-size TV with me, so I have like a HDMI switcher, and my uh, little, uh, little USB HDMI capture thingy that I got for cheap off of Amazon at one point. I think I already got all the clay in this area. Oh, no. There's two blocks of clay here. There we go. Oh, there's more. If you've seen any of my previous videos, then especially the Minecraft stuff, I, I do like to play around with all the different versions. Because I can. And it's just fun. And I did have a bit of a rant last night talking about the whole Yuzu emulator thing. And I'm, you know, it's, it's getting obnoxious. You know, these kinds of things always just get, like, really obnoxious. People blow things way out of proportion. Yuzu is dead, Nintendo is evil, or, you know, just... You, you know what bothers me about, you know, YouTube? And it's not anyone's fault in particular, but it's just like, you know... YouTube is a system that rewards, like, over-sensationalization. You get a lot of videos and thumbnails. The best! The worst! The downfall! Like, a lot of, a lot of negativity. And I, I hate it. Here you go, like, you know, with the rabbit guinea pig channel, what you see is what you get. And I can promise you I'm not going to over-sensationalize or try and make something sound more exciting than it really is. You're never going to see a thumbnail with a bunch of red circles and arrows and me doing an O-face. I don't need to know what my O-face looks like. But I digress. It, it, it's just, you know, people who play this kind of game. And the worst part, the worst part of it is, that's seemingly the only way to really get anywhere doing YouTube these days. You over sensationalize, you overact, you know, play some scary games and play it off for the camera or whatever. I'm just like, you know what? That. I, I don't want to continue rambling on forever about this kind of thing.
because I think it's all been said. I'm not here to perpetual perpetualize controversy, misinformation, blow things out of proportion, yada yada blah blah blah, all that kind of fun shit. Let's play some damn video games. I just want to play video games and have fun. I'm, and I'm not sitting here, I'm not going to sit here and perpetuate uh, negativity on the platform either. It, you know, it gets, I know why people do it, because it gets attention. Why this system failed? Why this movie failed? Why this is the worst thing of all time? The most controversial, the most shocking. The unbelievable truth behind blank. I spent a hundred hours in Minecraft Xbox 360. See what happens next, huh? <laughs> I feel like it's an incredibly thin uh, veil of pandering to the absolute lowest common denominator. And the worst part is, it works. Obviously, it works. Or else people wouldn't be doing it. It, it just pisses me off and... Oh wait, I'm gonna put these down. Why am I doing everything like this? In my Minecraft world, because I want to. Because I can. You don't have to like it, you don't have to watch it. And if you do, thanks, I hope you're having a good day. And if not, fuck you, I hope you're having a good day. Ah, uh, hmm. Stone here to at least start my house here. Okay, where? Stone. Hold up, hold on. Oh. Hmm. I see. All right. There. That's cool. regular bricks there. You need a lot of clay. There we go. Ah, there. Match the button. Oh, I can just hold the button. Silly me. I'm just going to start out with a straight up uh, cube, a relatively large one. I don't know how tall I'm going to make it. I'm going to sit here and explore the creative process together. And we're going to bond and become better people for it. Or not, who knows, who cares. I think this is more than big enough for a house. And yeah, usually when I make stuff in Minecraft, I start with a, you know, this is like the base. 
and then like I add on to it and I sort of sculpt it to make it cooler and more complicated looking. I'm on peaceful mode right now just because I don't want to have to deal with mobs while I'm doing this. Oh, anyway. Definitely gonna need a lot more of this, probably. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this building. I'm just going to make it. Front door is probably going to be on this side. And pretty much everything over there, where I have my little temporary area, is going to be taken down. Or maybe not, I don't know. Moved over, over here, possibly. I want this house to have form and function. I want it to look cool and also just be you know, my main uh, base of operation. I have at least one other, like, little base somewhere on this world. I think it's near the uh, bottom left of the map. I'll find it eventually. I have, like, more resources down there. It's just like a little area I dug into a cave so that I could store stuff and stay the night until I found some wool. I definitely want to do something cool with this, though. I just don't, I don't want it to just be like a cube-shaped house, that's for sure. Especially because I'm recording on YouTube here, might as well put on a show, put on a little spectacle, or something like that. How, how tall do I want this? You know what? I want it pretty dang tall. I want you to easily be able to see it from a distance. Maybe put a spire somewhere on here. That'd be cool. Make it like a miniature castle. And the cool thing is I can just keep adding to it. Not everything has to serve a gameplay purpose. That's the whole point of Minecraft. You can do do whatever you want. You can dick around however you want. It's fun. Remember fun? Ah, uh, here I go. Old man Boomer Adam here again. Back in my day when things were just better. You know, as I grow older, I find there is some truth to that, and not really. I, I just think the world's fucked up. It's been fucked up, and it's always going to be fucked up. And there's not much we can do about it, as long as people are going to people. Mm -hmm. 
See, this is a cool part of Minecraft. Is once you've been it for me anyway. Once you've been gathering your resources and you start to get an idea what you want to do, how you want to build. color schemes and all that maybe and you get it going you start out with you know this and then as you keep going as you keep building you know it starts looking like an actual thing oh I got to fill in this part <laughs> Looks like this house is going to end up having at least two floors. And I can just, you know, flatten more land if I really need to. Geronimo! He's fine. Okay. Hmm. Uh, are we symmetrical here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we're not symmetrical. I mean, we can make it symmetrical. Just make it a double doorway. Like that. It's fun making stuff in Minecraft in creative mode, sure, but there's a certain satisfaction to going around the world, gathering the stuff yourself, and then making stuff. It just feels a little more like you've accomplished something. Works. Works. Oh, what do you think? Brick roof? Tile? Type thing? Oh. Look, all those stacks of bricks for just two stacks of uh, bricks. It's not a renewable source either. You get what you get. As far as clay goes. I mean, renewable resource. <laughs> Ugh, stick them in there. Maybe I'll use some wood. I don't know. I mean, kinda got an idea of what's happening here. Or I can do whatever I want with it. Definitely want to get more stone though. It just so happens that there's plenty of it over here. There's a cat meowing outside the window. Also, you might hear the ceiling fan. It has a tendency to make a clicking noise sometimes. You'll just have to bear with me there. Just trying to air out the room a little. I want some of this. Andesite, Dorite, uh, whatever it's all called. You know, these things. This. Yeah, alright. And what's this one again? Granite. Yeah. They make good floor tiles when you polish them. Oh! You know, I 
I think. Oh, hold on. Hmm. That must mean that there is quite possibly the end portal somewhere below this location. That's good to know. Maybe. I think it's... More cobblestone, cobblestone, and some of this. A little bit of everything. Just a little bit of everything, you know? Put a variety of colors on this palette. And it's weird. Like, Minecraft seems to be making a comeback. And the thing, you know, maybe it's just the algorithm pandering to me specifically because I started getting back into Minecraft. And. YouTube is just showing me what it thinks I want. And it's sort of right. But at the same time, uh, I get the usual bullshit in the form of people just complaining about anything and everything because this is the internet and people have a voice and people like to use that voice to complain about everything and anything. Which is always fun. I don't know. I, I, I click on a video on, or I see a thumbnail on YouTube, a video about, you know, someone complaining about, you know, a video game adding or removing features, changing things or whatnot. And how, like, passionately angry these people are about these kinds of things. And I'm just like, y you do know there's real problems out there in the world, right? You know, people suffering, starving, abuse, uh, systemic oppression, a whole bunch of other things going on in this big old beautiful world we live on. It, it just seems absolutely silly to see people put that much, like, Passionate rage into something so frivolous. It's what we call first world problems, I believe. If we even still use that term anymore, I don't know. I'm at a point in my life, I'm at an age where... I just accumulate things that I like as far as, like, terminology. There's one old internet term that I think is tragically forgotten in this day and age, and it's a simple concept of, uh, don't feed the troll. If you haven't heard that saying, basically, when someone goes online and are just complaining or generally causing grief and misery. You know, you're adding fuel to their fire by responding or giving them any kind of uh, attention because that's really what they want. So, yeah, don't feed the troll. It's a concept that I think we've 
kind of forgotten in this day and age. From back in the late 2000s, early 2010s, when internet meme culture was a little bit different. Is it better? Is it worse? I don't know. It was different. That's all I really got for you. I'm gonna take this. Some of the things people get way too serious about. It's like, oh. Here's another term I don't know if people still use or not anymore. Go touch grass. I spend so much time on my computer these days. Due to living circumstances I don't really want to disclose. In the form of a YouTube video. So, you know, when a big old dork like me comes on and who has practically nothing better to do than to hook up a series of cables to my computer and uh, Xbox and all that and hook up my phone to my computer using certain software in order to get this video made lots and lots of free time in order to figure out how to optimize this kind of thing. It's a it's a learning process and I'm still learning, but if someone like me is telling you to go out and go touch grass, something's wrong. There, there's... too much in this world. Why, why, like this? video games. Let's just play them and enjoy them. Okay? Just enjoy the video game. Not everything has to be a political thing, you know? And I think that's why a lot of people are going back to older versions of Minecraft also is it reminds them it's a nostalgic thing it's a simpler time when they were less aware of the fact that the entire world is on fire and had more time to just play video games. This can be a little bit tricky, but doable. I do kind of... you'll see. I need some dirt in order to make myself a little temporary staircase here. And... But it's not really a staircase. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And we're gonna taper it off at the top here. And I'm thinking of using either spruce wood or dark wood for the roof. Or bricks. Maybe I can use the clay bricks. There we go. I need more of these. And... and it looks a bit silly at the moment. 
they all do for starting out, I believe. It feels a little bit like cheating just using a peaceful mode to do this, but I don't care. It's not like I had to find a specific tip and or trick to do such a thing. It's just right there built into the game. I can just play it like this. And then when I'm done building this and I'm satisfied with how it is, I will that I really don't play Minecraft the same way a lot of other people do. I think it's partly because Minecraft has been, for me, more of a personal experience throughout my life than like a social experience. Of people learned a lot of tips and tricks on how to build things, spawners, uh, automatic farmers and that kind of thing. Tons and tons of like redstone creations. People get really creative with that kind of thing. And that's cool. It really is. For me, just play it simple. Just play the game. I'm a loner survivalist kind of guy. In the world of Minecraft. One, two. I'm almost out of my diamond pickaxe. And here's something that sort of annoys me is, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get this capture device to capture in 60 frames a second. And I know it's a cheapo that I got off of Amazon, but I somehow got it to do that. By, uh, loading it in v v C VLC media player, but OBS will not read it as a 60 frames device for some reason. And I tried to look it up, and I get the same results, like, yeah, you know, your, your device just must not be compatible with that kind of thing, or your computer's too old and slow, and 
to my knowledge, neither of those things are true for me. So, what gives? This device, um, when I got it, specifically, uh, was advertised as saying it can do up to 1080p at 60 frames, or 4K at 30 frames. Cool, awesome. I don't really need 4K at the moment. And like I said, I hooked it up with VLC Media Player, and it seemed to be able to display 60 frames perfectly fine. You know, maybe a little, uh, lot. But you know, I, I, I've grown to just not be too concerned about that. Like, 30 frames is fine. You don't need to see each and every single frame of me building this house in Minecraft. You just, you just don't. Okay. So far this is turning out cool, I think. Can I... Yeah, see, it's starting to look vaguely house-like. Now I've got a whole bunch of these to work with. And let's make sure I don't have any loose blocks sitting around. I want to use them. Do I want... I think it might be better to do iron doors. I think I'm with iron doors. This, this interface right here, too. It's this crafting interface. I really like it. It's... You know, I played a whole lot of like, the edition, the Switch version, and all that. And its interface is cool, too, but my muscle memory lives here. I think maybe the Wii U version's also like that. I'm not sure. Okay, I want some stone brick stairs. I'm sure that's enough. And then I want a bunch of those also. Because we gotta we gotta make it presentable. Form and function. Make it nice. We need more cobblestone, of which there is plenty to be had. So Am I going to be doing more, you know, voiceover content? Probably. That doesn't mean I won't also still be doing what I did before. I do seem to be growing a bit of an audience as of late, and part of that is just because I'm sort of trying to. Or, more specifically, I'm just sort of trying to have a bit more of a presence on YouTube. These days, 
if you look at a lot of my older stuff on YouTube, and it's more or less experimental, and it still is, for the most part. I don't really find it worthwhile to try and delete any older videos, no matter how cringe they might be. Alright. Yeah, my diamond pickaxe is almost dead. I should definitely go and try and find some more diamond. The only thing about the uh, Xbox 360 version and the older console versions here, there are pros and cons to uh, the fact that your map is not unlimited. The map that my character is holding right now is all the map you get. And on the one hand, it's, it's cozy, it's nice. And on the other hand, this wasn't as big of a problem back in, like, you know, the early to mid-2000s, before they started adding, like, a thousand different biomes to the game. And you either get a ton of really small biomes all squished together, or you get, like, barely any. And if you look at my map here, there's like a lot of grassland, there's some ice area, um, that brown block closer to the top right of the map is where one of those, uh, uh whatever it's called, it's one of those big old buildings with all the bandits, or whatever they're called. It's been a while, I'm, I'm kind of relearning Minecraft as I go along. Oh, okay. What I want is... some more of these. And... so that I can make some of these. Only as many for what I plan on doing with them. What do I plan on doing with them? I don't know. These go in here. Like I said, these andesite, dorite, granite. Uh, hold on. Not grab. Gravel, maybe for something else. Where do you, where do you make the polished versions of these? Aha! I think that's going to be one of the later renovation, renovation kind of thing. It's kind of funny though, I mean there is this like bandwagon going on of like people making simpler videos on YouTube. using Minecraft so that they can just like talk about life and stuff. This isn't me jumping on the bandwagon. The jump the bandwagon jumped on me. I'm not saying I, I I'm the cool kid who did it before anything or anything like that. I'm just you know, I just thought of doing this kind of thing and then apparently so did everyone else. I'm cool with that.
you're going to get a lot of uh, longer form videos like this, complete with a lot of rambling and me just talking about nonsense. Should really make myself a new shovel. There we go. Alright, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this. You know what's cool though is I, I have an original... Actually I have three, now that I think about it, original uh, wireless Xbox 360 controllers. Two white ones and one black one. And the two white ones came from my brother, from his old Xbox. And this one came from searching uh, eBay extensively, trying to find one that's used, is in decent condition, and isn't one of those cheap knockoffs that are all over the place. I I'm sure they're fine, but yeah. It's just something about using first party hardware. Uh, when I first got my Xbox, I had one of those uh, rock candy controllers. If you remember, and th those are honestly fantastic controllers. I don't, I don't, can, can I, can I gripe a second about, like, the quality of game controllers these days? Because what the hell? What the actual hell happened? Like, I'm pretty sure I already did this in a previous video. Maybe, I don't know, you'll probably hear me repeat myself. A little bit. That's okay, I think. <laughs> Just... Especially with, like, the Nintendo Switch. What the actual fuck? And Nintendo knows they're fucking up, too. With the, uh... Joy-Cons and the Pro Controllers. I loved my Pro Controller. It, it was like my favorite controller. I used it as my Steam controller for the longest time because it just it was the right weight and depth. And I'm doing like a checkerboard tile kind of thing here. The joysticks were perfect until they weren't. And the Joy-Cons just, I mean, fucking planned obsolescence, I guess. Just how, how is that shit even, le you know they're doing it on purpose, too. But... Digress. See, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Maybe the whole floor is not going to be like that. I don't know. You, you, you know what? Maybe that'll just be the kitchen area. What if, let's say, right around here, right around this little chunk here, right beside the front doors, is where I put the kitchen area. This is this, this is the part where we're sort of planning out the layout of the inside of the house here. That's enough room for kitchen. I don't, I don't even. 
does this does this version have like uh smokers and blast furnaces? I don't think so. No. Kinda sucks, but also kinda keeps things refreshingly simple. Uh, so I guess more around this area would be more of a living room type situation. And I would want it to have more of a homely feel to it. I guess. Right here is like entrance. Yeah. And then maybe put a wall right around here and this will be like you know, diff, you know, bedroom somewhere over here, maybe, and then possibly attic, possibly basement. I don't know. We're we're just making it as we go along. Just making it up as we go along. Gonna need to get some glass too. It will be a lot nicer. Trust me. sand. I can't relocate the glass I already used down here. You just break it. You can't relocate it, which kind of sucks, but eh, what are you going to do? Sand is everywhere anyway, so hardly matters. Okay, what was I doing? Oh. Bricks. Or maybe wood. Spruce wood? Sure, 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 sure. The spruce wood. No, 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 no. We're going to use the spruce wood for the rooms. So, like around here. Yeah. And then over in this area here will be more of the living room ish type area. And then on one side here will be like my bedroom, and on the other side will be like whatever else I might need. Oops, there was something. Yep, there we go. If you notice that if you watch other videos of my mind on Minecraft, you'll notice that I have my items in a very particular order here. At least the tools here. Uh, pickaxe, axe, shovel, and then over here, sword, torches, and bow. And that's just, that's just how I do it. It's just where my muscle memory has landed, and that's just how I do it. And then usually I have like the bucket of water, my food if I'm playing, uh, not peaceful mode, then I would have some food somewhere in there. There's dirt in here, bricks, I guess. A lot less bricks than I thought I needed. Mm.
I might still need more works. No, no, I think we're good. Okay, so yeah. Entrance, and then over here, you know, kitchen. Put a wall over here somewhere. Wall over here, walk in here, and you got bedroom. Hmm. Let's see. You know, I just, I just think the world needs to slow the hell down. For me, Minecraft is like a digital metaphor for just slow the hell down and appreciate things for what they are. The effort you put into something. Just... Where do I want to put my end portal? I need to have one, like, near here somewhere. And then, like, subsequent end portals here and there. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a pain, I think. Without being able to fly in creative mode, putting the roof up there, it's going to be a bit of a pain, I think. It'll be worth it, though. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll put in the extra effort to make the roof uh, clay bricks like, like the floor down here, over here. Also, maybe I want to make another portal sooner rather than later so I can get some resources from there. Some quartz. Add some nice lining to the... Uh, to the windows. And just whatever, you know? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is like, for me, this is like the game preparation before I start trying to do like the extra stuff. Like getting to the end dragon, the wither, and all that stuff. Th this is a nice spot. So I think one, two, and you know what? Just to be a tiny bit eccentric, just a tiny bit eccentric with it. You need at least ten. Uh, where am I going? What am I doing? I'm going up here. Gonna take my gold. That's terracotta. Gold blocks. I only need a few. Four, to be exact. Because I'm going to accent the corners of my portal with the gold box. I always like making a nether portal. Just sort of see, it looks like a big old monolith of something you shouldn't be messing with. Yeah, 
you could just play Minecraft, just being a simple farmer living your days, breeding horses and cows and stuff. Or you could make a portal in the literal hell and fight all the demons in there, go all Doomslayer in there and <clears throat> attempt to do all the things. What, what, was, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hold on. I have iron. I need flint. I need a flint and steel. There we go. I think this was before they had like that nether update, so it's gonna be like a little more basic than what maybe most people are used to these days. Just fine. Ta da Into the nether. Yeah, with my uh, new uh, Xbox profile, my new Microsoft profile, I gotta try to get a lot of my achievements back. If I try to log into the old profile as it is, it, it's going to tell me like this program, uh, there's a problem with this profile, something or other. I, I think it got hacked at one point or another, and I fought Microsoft tooth and nail to try and get it back. And this was years ago, and I just, I couldn't for the life of me. It's like, oh, well, did you try appealing? Yes. Uh, uh, okay, um, did you try uh, all these contacts information regarding, uh, you know, old Skype and old phone numbers and stuff? And it's like, dude, I made that shit like 10 years ago. I can't remember half that shit. And so it, it just forever no longer exists. And I'm super lucky to have uh, downloaded all the stuff beforehand. Just take another. This diamond pickaxe is like just about gone. This is the fun part of Minecraft, when things start coming together and it starts feeling a lot more personalized. And you continue to expand. So, you know, we're, we're, we're getting an early look into this Minecraft world in particular. Did it just make an ouchy sound? Not the but the sound before that. Alright, cool. So yeah, this is the nether before they added all the other stuff. It's really neat in its own right. Let's see if I can find where all the uh, structures are. This is actually a good, good place to spawn in a nether. Uh, we can even use this for ah yes 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 hold on do I have to put these in a do I have to put the nether rack and cook it to make uh nether bricks nether rack bricks red nether now uh, you you gotta use these to make bricks to make nether bricks. Alright. But that is significantly easier than trying to do like clay bricks. I'll tell you that right now. 
Because look, it's all over the place. It's everywhere. And then you find some nether quartz and you can make them red. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And the quartz I'm going to use, I think, for some outside decoration. Ooh, that nether music. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. It's so ominous and spooky. Even in peaceful mode. It still just sort of feels like I'm, you know, you're messing with forces outside your comprehension. You should not be here. But I'm here anyway because I need... I need resources for my house. That's a, that's a good reason, isn't it? Now the nether is like one-fourth the size of the regular overworld. So that's one pro to playing, you know, the console version with a limited size world. It's a lot easier to make like a system of nether portals so that you can get around easier. Dong. Ooh, yes, please. Per are there lanterns in this version? That's the thing, I gotta remember. Uh, okay. We got these. We do have glowstone blocks. Uh, lanterns are not there. I was really disappointed when I figured out I couldn't make a shield. Apparently this is before shields were a thing. Or they just weren't added into the console versions of Minecraft until like the Bedrock Edition. I don't know. But I can't shield. I can't have a shield. I can use my sword. Yeah, I don't think you can do that anymore in the newer versions of Minecraft. That's sort of how it works. But, uh, yeah, whenever I turn the mobs back on, and I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this right here and take the corners of this portal. Uh, and here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to accent the corners here with gold like I did with the one on the outside. And then that way, if I'm exploring and I run across this one again, I'll know, okay, this is the one that's right next to my house because it's accented with the gold. Aren't I a clever boy? Lord knows how long this video is going to be, by the way. They typically end up around roughly an hour, so I don't plan it that way. That's just, I guess, how long my attention span is. I'm really hoping to get a better microphone soon, but for now this is significantly better than trying to use the piece of crap on the Beats by Dre headphones I got. The headphones themselves are alright. They sound decent. I'd say if you're a hardcore audiophile, you might be like, Ew, what's this? But, you know, for someone who can't afford a thousand dollars for a pair of headphones, they're alright. They get the job done. They have a decent amount of bass and treble and clarity.
Oh, okay, those are regular mushrooms. That's not an edible wart. Can I find the structure? Oh, that's cool. See, I'm gonna start just peppering the world. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some nether wart on the soul sand there, where it typically lives. I'm starting to realize that, that my own music, the music that I like to make is like heavily inspired by like the ambientness of a lot of the games that I was playing at the time when I started teaching myself how to make music and that includes Minecraft. I always like a good dark spooky sound. If you watch my uh, Infinite Mario video, I put my own music in there. Because otherwise that game was just super silent. And you know what? I saw the opportunity and I took it. Pretty much most of my music that I've made um, is on my Newgrounds page. And you know what, I might just put the link in the description of that video and maybe this one also since I went ahead and mentioned it. And why Newgrounds? Just, again, I'm used to. I also have a SoundCloud with some older so songs on there too. And a lot of my music is experimental. And is inspired by a lot of my favorite things. Pink Floyd is a huge influence to the sound of my music. I like putting like weird ambient stuff in there. Um, if you listen, you might hear a little uh, Nine Inch Nails in there. I'm going to take like a bunch of this because I might as well start a nether warp farm up there in the not hell dimension mm. oh is that is it kind of hard to tell from here hmm find a way around. Alright, we're going to get some of this soul sand too. It's quartz. Lots of quartz. Use it to make like decorative accents. Soul sand, soul sand. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but I'm just going to take plenty. I think I left my crafting table up there. Maybe I'll get my nephew here one of these days to uh, play some split screen multiplayer with me on here. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, 
him and me like to bond over Minecraft and video game stuff. He's a cool kid. Hi Xander. I'm embarrassing you on my YouTube. He says he likes to put my videos on the background to help my channel with the algorithm and I, I appreciate that a lot. Especially because I'm trying to grow more now. But I'm, I'm not, you know, at the risk of going off on the same rant that I have for the past several videos here. I'm not playing the stupid game. I'm not playing the YouTube game. I'm not appeasing the almighty algorithm. YouTube is not my god. Alright? We're not doing that. And viewer retention is not my god. If I blow up and become popular on YouTube, it's not going to be because, like, I did a whole bunch of research, searched around for, you know, the popular buzzwords of the time. You know, if I, if I make it as a real content creator on YouTube, it's going to be because I make things that I like to make and people find that shit entertaining. And if that happens, when you look back on this video, you know, these past few videos that I've made here, It's going to be like looking back. This is my uh, declaration, my statement, my mission statement for my YouTube channel. It's, it's, it's going to be the same as it always has been. I'm just making shit for fun on YouTube and if you want to watch it, And if you don't, I mean, it's your life. I'm not going to try and clickbait your ass. I'm playing the Xbox 360 of Minecraft in 2024. Well, I just skipped like a whole decade there, didn't I? 2014, that would be more like... Uh, where it would be... Man, just try that shit. Go back, go back in time and then post a title like that. I'm playing Super Mario Kart 64 in 2014. See what happens. Maybe it would be seen as like super innovative. Wow, no, dude, no one has ever thought to put the date of the time when the thing is happening on the video is happening. Now I know what year it is. And now I'm impressed by the thing that you're doing more because of what year it is. For some reason. I don't I don't get it. I don't You know what it is? It's a nothing thing. It sounds like it's imposing that it's supposed to be impressive without really explaining why it's impressive, or interesting, or whatever. And it just freaking annoys me. Alright, so here we go. That's one thing I like to do on my Minecraft worlds, especially these days, is uh, use visual tells to help guide me instead of just putting wooden signs everywhere. My lighting options are... Yeah, so no lanterns, which kind of sucks. Sucks because I like those, but whatever. Uh, limitation breeds creativity, as they say. No, no lanterns. We got glowstone. 
which I want more of. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do something with it. Ugh. Redstone lamp? Yes. Redstone lamp. Awesome. Oh, I forgot about note blocks. I forgot a lot about Minecraft. Sometimes it's cool to just go back and remember when certain things were new. Not that uh, note blocks were new. Even when I got started playing Minecraft, they were relatively a well-established part of the Minecraft experience. Well, if the uh, nether structures are anywhere, they're not here. Peering around my map, even though it's not even useful. Down. Can you make another map? I forget. I'll have to try that. <laughs> I don't think I need a ton of glowstone. vaguely chiptune-ish sound. Like I said, when I make my own music, I love to add, like, subtle ambient noises. And, like I said, like, Pink Floyd has been a huge influence. This was around the time when I was getting into their music, so it was like the early 2010s or so. I think I remember, like, I had a Pink Floyd shirt and I was out walking one day and someone walked up to me for some reason was like, oh, oh, what's your favorite band? What's your favorite album? And I was like, well, I don't really know yet. I'm just getting into them. It's like, wrong, fake fan. Fuck you. Let me like the things I like. But uh, I get it to me a little more than I should have. So uh, I huffed and I puffed. And I listened to more Pink Floyd music, and I found out that they are exactly my jam. They just, every, everything I like about music, they do, and they do it well. And uh, also, you know, I found out about Red Vox, uh, Vince's band. Mike and all those other dudes. And I mean, if you don't know who Vine Sauce is, don't worry about it. He's a speen guy. That, that, that's his legacy as a human being. He will be forever known as the speen guy. And also, uh, Gray Leno. Also, he's Joel. Him and him and Joel are the same person. And I can name all the memes. Been a fan of both of them, and a little bit of the other people for quite a while. But uh, Red Vox. Like, I legitimately love their music. It is exactly my kind of music. Alright, cool. But uh, I digress. Block of quartz, block of quartz, block of quartz. 
Gonna need more quartz. Uh, that's okay. Alright, let's... Let's get some nether bricks going. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm gonna make the roof out of nether bricks. I'm gonna have to go on another spelunking mission. Soon-ish. Also, that soul stone, it doesn't go in there. Uh, but the soul sand is for... Farming nether warts. You can see my... Oh, auto-saving. Cool. I forgot that that's a feature. I think I said it until like 90 minutes, so... It's been about an hour and a half. Yeah, 90 minutes. I guess that's a pretty cool way of, uh... Keeping track of my time on here. Maybe these videos will make good sleep aid. I don't mind. You don't always need my attention all the time. My undivided attention. Fill in these windows. Oh. I think this will be enough, but I'm not sure. Not quite enough, I don't think. I don't know why, but adding the windows to a building in Minecraft is like when it first starts feeling like official, like, oh look, I'm making a house now. It's no longer just like a little base I carved out of a mountain or something. It's more sand. Honestly, this is this is just really neat that I can even do this. Just hook up my Xbox 360 to my computer and just play some yeah. Minecraft. Record myself doing it and if anyone cares enough to watch, that, that's awesome. Thanks for joining, and I hope you enjoy, and like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense, or don't. I don't care. It would be nice to get some more uh, communication going, though. Not just because, like, you know, the algorithm likes it, but, you know, a little uh, community kind of thing going on. So, I need nether brick stairs so that I can make the roof. And maybe I'll turn it into an attic or maybe I'll just leave it like it is. Because I like the way uh, structures look when they got like a high ceiling. It's just really cool looking. You know, a lot of people going back to older versions of Minecraft. Some people breaking out their old 
Xbox or PlayStation 3 or whatever and doing it that way. Maybe they're using emulators sometimes. That's cool. I would say it's not like you can give Mojang your money for these things anymore, but you can still go on the Xbox Marketplace and buy the 360 version still. And that's kind of insane when you think about it. All of that shit in the Xbox Marketplace is still there. Like, hold on. Let, let's do a little uh, side. Let's do a little side mission here. Let's say for now. It's my video. I can do whatever I want. Just have it connected through Wi-Fi. Come on. I can show you my Xbox 360. My collections. I got a DVD in there. I think it's a uh, Batman versus TMNT. Saw it at the bargain bin for like five bucks at Walmart, and I was like, "This is just silly enough." Okay, I downloaded a few new ones. Some some of the free games that are actually still available on the Xbox 360. So you got Aegis Wing. Which is a pretty decent shooter kind of game. Charlie Murder, I'm going to end up doing a video on eventually. Dark Souls, I'm definitely going to do sometime in the near future. Doritos Crash Course, this game has no business being as fun as it is. Uh, uh, Frozen Freefall, I only downloaded this one because it's free. And honestly, at this point, like, I'm, I'm, all, I'm collecting. Another Doritos game, the Harm's Way game that, uh, fewer people seem to know about, Hexic. It's cost to a good portion of these games I have the PC version. So, in, I'll do a video of that. Uh, Portal. Resident Evil, Saints Row the Third, one of those games that, uh, you know. And if you can't tell, I'm a bit of a Sonic fan. I do tend to enjoy Sonic from time to time. Spolunky, there's a, there's another one. This this SSX game is pretty good. The uh, Strider remake, where they made it more of a Metroidvania, that's pretty cool. I believe this was the first time you got to play uh, Monster World. This was like the first official translation of Monster World 5. And we got Wonder Boy and Monster Land and Monster World on there too. Tales of Vesperia, one of the few JRPGs on the Xbox 360. Zuma. This was a dad game. Th this was what I like to refer to as a dad game. My dad played a whole lot of games like those Popcat games. If you remember Chuzzle, he played a whole lot of that. Zuma, Luxor, you know, those kinds of games. And they're good, they're fun. Uh, you, you might call it racially insensitive these days. I don't know. Just you look past that, and it's a fun game. The Tomb Raider reboot. This game's excellent, and this is this is one of those games that really pushes the Xbox 360. It, it's a later game, and obviously, it, like it was also like on the Xbox One and the PS4 and the X. And, PC and all that, so there are better versions of this game. And it's a pretty good, you know, if you were an Xbox guy and you couldn't play like The Last of Us games because you didn't have a PlayStation at the time, this is pretty much kind of exactly the same in a lot of ways. And different in a lot of ways, but it has a similar like gameplay to it. 
it, it's it's time. I like. Anyway, I was going to go over here. Yeah, let's uh, let's have a little fun here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to most pop. This is where you most likely find the uh, see look Minecraft. You can still buy it on here, and it's still the same price too. To be fair, Minecraft has always been roughly around a thirty dollar price price tag. Depending on where you get it. Life is Strange. I've played the first episode of this one. Was it free? Yeah, it is free. So I played it. Yeah, the Walking Dead games. Uh, Terraria, I'm pretty sure I do have on here. Guncraft. Locked and loaded. There were a lot of Minecraft butt guns games. There were a lot of Minecraft uh, Battle Block Theater. That's another one I'm going to have to do at one point. Oh, Slender. Trials HD. Plants vs. Zombies. Classic. Of course, both Sonic Adventure games. Crazy Taxi. But, you know... Without the uh, licensed material and the, uh, the Offspring music. I started getting into the Offspring a little bit more recently, too. Just, you know, whatever Pandora decides to shove in my face. Ooh, Sonic the Fighters! I don't have this one, but I can still get it if I wanted to, and I had money. I don't have money at the moment. Alien Hominid. Oh, it's, that's... I'm still doing... I'm still doing the Flash showcase, by the way. And obviously you wanna... You wanna get Flashpoint if you're interested at all in classic Flash and browser games. But I remember specifically Alien Hominid was like the first, it wasn't like the first indie game to be put on console, but it was like the first, like, one to, like, get recognized as such, I believe. It was like Newgrounds, they're suddenly making console games, and it was on the PS2 and the Xbox. I think it was on the GameCube, but I'm not 100% sure there. Ooh, Mighty Number no. 9. Is there still a free demo? I mean, to be honest, I played the demo before. Yeah, it's disappointing compared to the hype that was surrounding it at the time and you know being an anime fan on prom night that's a meme that's just never gonna die the game's fine it's fine it's not terrible it's not amazing it's fine just <sighs> At least from what I've played. <laughs> you know what? What if I eat this is this was gonna be just a Minecraft video, but what if I just make it a whatever the hell I want video at this point? It's already been over an hour and a half. Don't know why I would call it in the YouTube naming thing. Oh, well, you can't get the indie games anymore. It's not there. I mean, there are indie games, but it's not the indie games. There's the on-demand games. The full release. This was a big deal back then, for me anyway, where you could download a whole ass game. When I originally heard about, like, the 360 having, like, a hard drive, and you could, like, get a bigger hard drive, and when I asked why, 
and people were like, oh, so you can install your games. Oh, so then I won't need the disc. Oh, you still need the disc to install the games, and that's fucking stupid. Oh, wait, you can actually buy these games and just download them. That's... That's cool, actually. Dark Souls was my first, like, game that I downloaded on my Xbox. Not the first game, but, like, the first, like, disc. Like, big, full game. Come on. Load. Ooh, rabbits. Oh, uh, those are my uh, little cousins I don't talk about very much. I have Rage, but I have it on the disc version. Oof. Duke Nukem Forever. Again, other than, like, the dated as fuck humor, the edgy for edgy sake humor, the game's... Okay... It's not the worst thing ever. It's far from mind blowing. It's fine. It, it, it's a serviceable shooter. Oh, yeah. The Epic Mickey sequel. What else we got here? Arkham Asylum. I have the uh, Steam version. Dead Rising. Uh. My actual physical collection of Xbox 360 games are in my brother's house right now. I would have to go get them, but... Man, this game's hard. At least for me, anyway. Or I haven't really figured out how to play it fully yet. And I keep forgetting to save by going to, to the bathrooms. I will say, though... Hmm. I also played Dark Souls too. I used to have it. I don't anymore. I like it. I've warmed up to it in recent years. Uh, Sonic Generations. You know why Sonic Generations is still liked and like other modern Sonic games aren't? It's because they tried with this one. They gave a shit. That's going to be for another rant video, probably. First Saints Row. Alice Madness Returns. Got that one for free with the Xbox Live Gold subscription. I paid for the DLC, and then I figured out that a lot of the DLC was easy mode. Cosmetic costumes for Alice that also, like, give her buffs. And I'm like, okay, but can I turn off the buffs so I can just play the game but also look cool? Not that she doesn't already look cool. Ah. <sighs> Alright, back to Minecraft. This concludes our little field trip. Yeah, I like this coffee sit too long, it's getting cold. If you're wondering, it's an Xbox 360 Slim. Or Super Slim, I should say. Which, it's still pretty big and bulky. Honestly. This is the Slim version. It's funny to me. They had one more after that. It was like the Elite Xbox 360E, something like that. I don't know. Let's do the natural tech. Uh, yeah, I actually paid money for that one and this one, and none of these. I could have sworn I actually did at one point. I remember having the city texture pack, the plastic one, the 
Andy one, cartoon, steampunk one's pretty cool. Ah, <sighs> anyway. Anyway. This video is gonna take forever to upload. Let's see how it looks with this. I like this one. I like this texture pack. I like to switch back and forth. I like the way this one looks. The fantasy one's more situational. This one makes things look a little more realistic, I guess. As far as, you know, a game made out of blocks can be realistic. I've been trying to find a way to use a controller to play uh, the Java version of Minecraft with uh, with my RTX and all that on there. And there are a few options. A lot of, you know... I would pretty much have to go back to an older version. And if I want to do like the RTX playthrough or whatever, then I'm doing the newest version that I can. And the reason I want to use a controller, I don't have to, but I want to just because, you know, sometimes I just want to lean back and play it in game. Just, just enjoy. Sit back and relax and play a dang video game, you know? We got the bricks. We got more glass. That should definitely be enough glass, I think. Do, 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 do. Windows. Windows, windows, windows. Went into an Apple store. Accidentally let out a huge thing far. Everyone looked at me in disgust. There was a it was me. I started walking out and then I turned around and looked at everyone and said, It's not my fault this place doesn't have windows. I will not apologize for that. <laughs> Oh, cool. It's raining. You ever just sit in your house? You're laying in bed or something and you just look up at the stars and you think to yourself, Where the fuck is a roof? Windows are done. Alright, so now. Uh, red nether. Red. Oh, well, yeah, I could. I think that would be too bright for what I want to accomplish here. So, it's regular nether brick. Regular nether brick. There we go.
Oh. That's definitely not going to be enough to make a roof with. Alright. Hi-ho, hi-ho, off to work we go. The, uh, natural texture pack really changes... Just sort of changes the feel of the nether just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a lot more bright. Bright red, saturated red. Stuff breaks so easy. of keeping like the general color scheme like the uh, roof and decorations are going to also be nether netherrack brick like the external decorations anyway Tell you what, once I get what I consider to be a complete house done, then I'll end this video. And then the next time I do a video on here, it's gonna be even more like completed, expanded upon. And then, like, the real adventure begins. Let's see about building, making a little little shack, a little shed around this one, so that whenever I turn the mobs back on. And I come back to the nether, I'm not immediately assaulted by gas. Uh, uh, what do I not need? Uh, those will be there when I get back, right? Another thing I see people complaining about, like, you know, Minecraft and, you know, the features that they chose or chose not to add. And again, I, I hear someone, you know, use the words lazy game devs, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. You've never even programmed a game before in your life. I have. I have. Well, like 80% of one anyway. And potentially... Might... 
rework on it sometime in the near future. Maybe if I get popular on YouTube and then, you know, then I announce that I'm working on a game and then people will be like, hey, you know that rabid guinea pig guy? He's making his own game. Oh, that's so cool. I will definitely support him on Patreon. That's how that works, isn't it? It sometimes. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the soul sand. And you know, everything about this house is subject to change. If I f so, maybe I want to change the color of the roof. Why not? Or maybe I'll just, you know, build another house somewhere else. Ourselves a nice How many oh yeah 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 and I don't think you need water or anything for these to grow I think the rain is making the game stutter slightly. Mm, I want to surround it. I, I think this is more than enough for my general purpose as far as a nether warp farm is concerned. Plant these. Well, the rain doesn't seem to be hurting them anyway. For the sake of making it look pretty, let's see what we got here. Also, I'm going to 